Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an apple pie out of polymer clay. And I'm not using my regular video camera to record this because my computer is acting up. It can't charge, and if it can't charge, I can't use it. And if I can't use it, I can't up upload the video from my camera to the computer. <laughs> so today I'm just going to use an iPhone for us to record this video. Um, so yeah, and again, this is going to be unedited. This is going to be an unedited video unedited video because I don't know how to edit on an iPhone for us. So I'm um, very sorry that this is long and I have rolled out some clay and I already put the TLS and stuff. So what you're going to need is a bottle cup and I've already had this ready and it fell somewhere and I don't know where it is. So you're going to need a bottle cup. You're going to need orange and brown pastels. You're going to need a blade or an exacto knife something to roll it out with, TLS, a cup, and grew clay, as well as like a flesh tone color for your apples. And I'm using Fimo Soft in the color Flesh Light, I think. Let's see. There you go. Flesh Light. So what you're going to want to do is roll out your ecru clay, it's kind of thin, kind of thick, and you're going to want to put it on your little bottle cap. Then you're going to want to pull out the extra clay. And just make it really nice and neat. And again, if this was edited, this would all be in fast motion and stuff. So sorry about that. So once you have that ready, you're going to put this to the side. So now what you're going to want to do is get your translucent liquid sculpey or your TLS. And put it on a top of a cup. And with your pastels, you're going to want to shave some off into the TLS. Not that much. Just a little bit. And then you're going to want to get your needle tool or anything. And you're going to want to mix this up. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do with your fleshy apple color is get your blade and cut off thin and um big and small, thick and thin pieces. And these are just going to be little apple chunks. So let me quickly do this. I'm trying to do this quick. <laughs> and you want enough that will fill in your bottle cap. And you want to use about the same amount as TLS as all of your little apple chunks. Okay, so now once you have your apple chunks, you're going to want to start mixing it in. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can... There we go. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to add a few more apple chunks. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, guys. When I was cutting my apple chunks, I hit the video camera. So after you have all of your apple chunks all mixed up with your TLS, you're going to want to put this into your bottle cap. And this is what it looks like. That's what that looks like. So now what you're going to want to do is get more igloo clay. And roll it out. And don't forget to clean off your needle tool. So you're going to roll this out into like a thickish, thin sheet. Because you're going to want to make your lattice strips for the pie. Sorry, that didn't show up. That's what it looks like. And now you're going to want to trim this until the sides are nicely cut. 
so it looks nice for your pie. And you just want to cut strips of your clay for the lattice strips. Now to make your lattice strips, you have to get your pieces of you have to get your little strips of clay and put it on the pie like this. I'll show you a closer view when I'm done putting on the my lattice strips. You don't want too many because you want your apple pie to be shown. So this is what that looks like. And I'm sorry about the lighting. So now you're going to want to trim this off or just kind of pick it off. So it looks like this. Now what you're going to want to do with your other parts of your equal clay is you're going to want to roll it out again. And I'm super duper sorry I can't edit this, by the way. I would have started this video over and redone it, but I've already done it. So, so now what you're going to want to do is trim it again. And I guess this is okay that I, it's not being edited because I can show you guys my step-by-step -step tutorial. So now you're going to want to cut more lattice strips. Now you want to put this the other way. Adding one more this way and putting it onto my pie. And almost done. And there we go. So this is what my lattice strips look like. Sorry that's not focusing. There we go. That's what my, oops, I dropped it again. This is what it looks like. And I think it's super cute. So you can also add a magnet on the back of this after it's done baking. And I have magnet tape that you could use. And then when it's done baking, you just cut one cut a little piece of it, and then you put it on the back of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm sorry I couldn't edit this, and please tell me your feedback in the description box below. Give me some tips and helpful hints, because I'm not sure how long my computer will have this issue. So please give me some helpful hints and tips um, of how to make this video go nice and quicker. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!